Here's the situation. You have many stores to chart on constantly changing data, and you need a way to force the chart to draw itself in order. Because as a smart manager, you want to be able to look at something very quickly. You don't want to strain your eyes. You don't have to scan through an entire chart and try to tell which one's higher than the other one because you already know this thing's in order. So the far left is going to be the best performer. The far right's going to be the worst or the lowest. So what I've done here is I've drawn this chart. I'm using formulas to force it to rank. So I'll show you what I've done. First, let's uh, demonstrate. Here you can see these stores are not given in order, but the numbers are and it's drawn in that order. So if I just start choosing different dates, store shifted, the order remains the same. Okay, so that's what I've done here. We'll look at this formula first. It's the large formula. If you don't know how to use the large formula, basically what it's saying is you, you choose your range and then pick a number. Number one means you want to find the largest number within this range. Here, Two means find the second largest. Three, find the third largest. Four, find the fourth largest. And I have some hidden information here. Go ahead and unhide it. Check it out. You could ignore this. That's for the drop down. All this information is coming from my data sheet. I'm not going to go over that. I want to draw your attention to the tiebreakers. This is how I break the ties. I just simply type this number in. It's not a formula. I know I have four stores, so I need four tiebreakers. Logically, store 4, I used the number 4 up here, but a very, very, very low version of it. So it's point zero 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 zero, however many zeros that is, 4. This one is 3, this one is 2, this is 1, is 1. So in case there is a tie, like say in this position right here, this large number is going to force this result in front of that one. And down here is where I have the actual data that the chart is drawing itself off of. And you can see what it's doing. Here's a VLOOKUP formula. What it's doing is it's going into here to find the actual number, which in this case is 47, shown right here, 47. But it's also adding, whatever it finds, it's adding this to it. So the result is 47.00004. In case there's a tie, that's how it's going to break the tie. This is just typed in. That doesn't move. That doesn't shift. So now let's come down to this formula. This is an H lookup. What this is doing is it's looking at this dollar value that's coming up to this range. And when it finds it, it's right here. It's going to return the store number. So that's how I get the store numbers and the values to move together in order based on uh, ranking. Now, if we go and try to find a tie, here's a tie, you see what happened. Store 2 and Store 4 both got $16. So, alphabetically, Store 2 comes first, so I'm forcing it to show up in the chart for first. You can see that here, the full score is Store 2 got 16.000003. And this got 16.0001. That's how it forces it. And so, as the manager, you're already going to know that this is the top, this is the lowest one. Um, let's look at another example here, really quick, because here's another advantage of it. Notice that these three right here are very close to each other 92, 91, 89. And if you were a manager and you didn't know these were forced in order, you might have a hard time saying, well, which one's higher than the other? So this kind of resolves a little eye strain or a little guesswork because you know whatever this is, whatever these amounts are, this one's the highest, this one's next, third, and fourth. So let's just say I don't like columns. I like bars instead. So to change this to a bar chart, it's very simple. I just choose chart type, come down here, find bar, click bar, OK. Um, the default style is this, which is backwards from what I want, because I want a best performer at the top. So I just choose this axis, format the axis, categories in reverse, and there you have it. Now I'm going to have to pull this down a little bit because it looks like it's drawing onto the title, but I like it that way because now the numbers are closest to the biggest performer. But if you want to swing these back down to the bottom, you just choose this axis, come over here to axis labels, 
choose high and that pushes it down to the bottom and if we take a couple more examples now that I have the bar chart you can see that it's still performing the way that I want it to and that is how you solve this need